Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the biosynthesis and significance of the biological molecules. We can say a part four in amino acid metabolism, and we are going to see the synthesis and significance of the biological molecules like serotonin, melatonin, and norepinephrine, epinephrine as well. So I will start with the lecture. So just see, uh, this are all are we can say known as the catecholamine. Okay, so catechol. See, this is the structure of catechol. In this catechol, okay, there are a benzene ring and two group. Okay, of OH, there is a presence of two hydroxyl group and benzene ring. Okay, from that, this is our parent ring. Okay, and from this, uh, from this, uh, we can say there is a structure. We can. Uh, write a structure of dopamine norepinephrine and epinephrine so see in the norepinephrine there is a presence of nh2 the second position over here at this position at this position then norepinephrine okay in norepinephrine there is a presence of three hydroxyl group okay in epinephrine there is also presence of three hydroxyl group so what is the difference between the epinephrine and norepinephrine we can say a chemical difference in norepinephrine there is a nh2 group and in epinephrine there is a nh ch3 there is a addition additional methyl group is there now we will see as in a title we will see over here the biosynthesis of catecholamines like dopamine okay epinephrine and norepinephrine as well after that we will see the functions and we will see the synthesis of serotonin and melatonin as well so first of all as we know from phenyl alanine we will get a tyrosine so from phenyl so from phenyl alanine with the help of aaah aromatic amino acid hydroxylase the enzyme we are getting over here the oh group it's a tyrosine now again with the help of the same enzyme okay we have to again add one oh group and we will get the structure of l dopa so from phenyl alanine we will get a tyrosine with the help of same enzyme from tyrosine what we can get is a l dopa so okay from l dopa we can get a dopamine with the enzyme okay a a d c means it's a primary pathway just there is a one reaction in a one reaction from l dopa we will get dopamine okay with the help of the enzyme aadc means aromatic acid or we can say amino acid decarboxylase okay so over here there is just a removal of the co2 group and we will get the structure of dopamine okay so from dopamine with the help of the enzyme dph okay dopamine beta hydroxylase okay we can get the hydroxyl group as a at a we can say this position so it's known as norepinephrine okay and from norepinephrine we can get a structure of epinephrine okay so this is a general biosynthesis of catecholamines like dopamine norepinephrine and epinephrine okay now we will see the functions of these all enzymes like epinephrine norepinephrine and dopamine so first is the motility and second is the physiological function means it act as a neuromodulator and it will act means physical activity okay it will prepare our body for physical activity and it will increase in a heart rate blood pressure then we can say the blood glucose levels okay in general reactions of a sympathetic nervous system so this all are the functions of epinephrine norepinephrine and dopamine as well now we will see the serotonin so the other name of serotonin as we can say it's a 5 hydroxy tryptamine it's a 5 ht okay so serotonin is nothing it's a 5 ht 5 hydroxy tryptamine okay so here we can say it's a ring is present tryptamine then okay, 5 hydroxy group is there okay now see at the fifth position there is a hydroxy group is present of this ring so it's known as 5 hydroxy tryptamine as well serotonin it's a monomine neurotransmitter okay there is one amine it's a monomine neurotransmitter and what is the role of serotonin so we can say it's a image as a feelings of well-being okay we can say in happiness so what we should be okay we should be happy 
so in our body serotonin should be must okay should be very very high so its actual biological function is complex and multifaceted right so it will increase see learning capacity we can say the memory okay if see uh, when you will when you will happy okay when you are happy you can catch the things very easily so it's it will it will increase your learning and capacity and memory as well okay and the numerous physiological process such as the vomiting and vasoconstriction so it will control or we can see increase by the serotonin now see uh, the structure it's a melatonin see what is the difference between structure of serotonin and melatonin so just uh, there is a difference of this carboxyl group is present we can say it's a co group is present ketone group is present in a melatonin so what is melatonin chemically it's an acetyl 5 hydroxy tryptamine okay co ch3 group is present over here this is your ch3 so it's known as n acetyl okay it's a 5 hydroxy see it's a 5 hydroxy co ch3 means of n acetyl 5 hydroxy tryptamine it's a hormone okay it's a primarily released by the pineal gland okay it's uh, in animal it's involved the cardiac rhythm okay it's sleep back timing okay so sometimes you heard that our grandmothers or grandfathers they they had no need of alarms okay why because we can say because of this hormone some melatonin okay, it's it will regulate our sleep back cycle okay or we can say our cardiac rhythm yeah and cardiac rhythm okay so many of this effects through activation of melatonin receptor okay due to its role of antioxidant it will generate okay it can uh, you can say it's so other name is uh, antioxidant it can help as an antioxidant it can act as an antioxidant now we will see the synthesis of serotonin and melatonin so first of all okay we can synthesize serotonin and melatonin okay serotonin will act as a precursor in the synthesis of melatonin so we will see see this is the structure of l tryptophan now with the help of the enzyme tryptophan hydroxylase okay what happened the conversion of oxygen tetrahydrobarbutyrin to 5 hydroxy tetrahydrobarbutyrin so this is act as an coenzyme over here but the main enzyme is a tryptophan hydroxylase so what it will do it will add a hydroxyl group as we know okay and it will form the 5 hydroxy l tryptophan okay now what happened from high 5 hydroxy l tryptophan we will get a serotonin so what is serotonin with the help of the enzyme 5 hydroxyl l tryptophan decarboxylase means we have to do nothing just from this ring we can remove the co2 group okay with the help of plp as a coenzyme okay so just remove co2 group from here and we will get the structure of serotonin okay so now serotonin will act as a precursor of melatonin so what it will do see now from serotonin we can synthesize melatonin so from serotonin with the help of an enzyme serotonin and acetyl transferase okay we can generate n acetyl serotonin means we can add the coenzyme okay it's a acetyl okay estoacetyl group we can say acetyl group we can add so it's a addition of coch3 and just uh, with the help of hydroxynol hydroxynol o methyl transferase means there is just a transfer okay of a group okay and we will get the structure of melatonin okay so this is nothing just a structure of melatonin which we can get by this so this will convert to our oh okay with the transferase enzyme okay so this is our uh, final structure this is our final structure is a melatonin so from serotonin we can synthesize melatonin from l tryptophan we can synthesize serotonin by one two enzymes so this is a biosynthesis of serotonin and melatonin now what are the functions of serotonin so and melatonin serotonin okay so serotonin 
regulates our gastrointestinal mobility as we have seen already the mood appetite sleep and some cognitive functions like memory learning it is one of the important neurotransmitter in body okay in animals okay it will play an important role it will regulate the uh, sleep wax system we can say a cardiac rhythm okay it plays an antioxidant in free radical scavengers so thank you dear learners for watching the video 